What is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here. I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. Got to spend time with all of your family, open up presents, eat some good food, all that kind of good stuff there. Today I am back on the video grind. I have some really important and cool news coming out later this week possibly that you guys definitely don't want to miss out on that. But today I want to talk about something that has been very controversial within the Call of Duty community over the past couple of weeks here. And it's regarding the player count for not just Call of Duty Black Ops 4, but also for pretty much the entire Call of Duty series since 2013, which goes back about five years from now. So we have a lot of history going back here. And like I said, a lot of people in the COD scene are talking about this over on Reddit and Twitter, but not too many content creators have actually made videos on this topic. So I'm gonna try and give my best take on this. So let's go ahead and get started. Now what really sparked this topic was because on the Call of Duty Reddit there was a post by Cali9 which details an estimate number of the player count for each COD game on the PlayStation 4 dating back since 2013 and Cali found this data through the Sony PS4 My Life campaign which pretty much allows players to see information like their overall play time, their three most played games, trophies, all that kind of stuff and in the post that Cali made he details how he found this information and he says last week Sony launched the PS4 My Life campaign although not available in the US it seems allows players on the PS4 to know some of their stats such as their overall playtime their three most played games trophies etc their rarest trophy is also shown with the exact number of players who got it using those numbers and comparing them with the percentage shown on the PS4 trophies some people started calculating the total number of players for different games so did I but only for Call of Duty titles I used the thousands of screenshots from this thread on reddit slash PS4 as well as from other several people unfortunately not many people got a COD trophy as the rarest but I managed to collect around 80 unique trophies for the seven COD titles released on PS4 since 2013. The result is the average of the total players for each trophy for each game. And then I'm going to have the graphic on screen for you guys that was made by Cali. And you can clearly see that Black Ops 3 just far outweighs all of these other Call of Duty titles dating back since 2013. But there is a lot more deeper meaning behind this and there's a lot of other things you guys need to consider which I'm going to talk about that later on in a second here. But going back to Ghost and Advanced Warfare, you got to remember that there was a lot of people on these two games who did not switch to the next gen consoles they pretty much just stayed on the old gen xbox 360 and ps3 and you know continue to play both of these cod titles so that could be a reason why those two games are so low and then as for why black ops 3 is so dang high a few months ago over the summer black ops 3 was actually given out free to the public for anybody to download again free which is why it's just insanely large compared to all the other cod games you did need to have a PS Plus subscription, but I mean, come on, like, it, it's still free to download. Of course, people are going to want to get a free game, so that's why it's insanely high. Black Ops 4's numbers is just completely inaccurate based off of today because it's the second most sold game on the PS4 behind Call of Duty World War II, and this is coming from Sony themselves, not Activision or Treyarch, but Sony themselves. And we also know that Black Ops 4 has achieved other numerous sales records. There also were more players on launch day for Black Ops 4 than BO3. The list pretty much goes on and on here, yet there still are so many people saying that COD's dead, BO4 is dead, this and that, COD will never be the same again. So if I'm going to be honest, everything here just does not really line up together with the uh, Reddit posts and then what everybody else is claiming. Now, I'm not discrediting the data and research Kylie did for sure. I think his post is very intriguing and there may be some accuracy to it, but to just simply go based off of this data and claim that this is tried and true is absolutely inaccurate. And Kali did state numerous times in the post that, hey, this is just an estimate. There's plenty of other variables that we have to consider. Yet again, there still are people, most of them coming from the COD fan base itself, saying that the game is dead. And yeah, so honestly, no third party or no member of the gaming scene will 
ever, ever, ever be able to accurately convey the player count. Only Treyarch and Activision themselves have those numbers. And if I'm going to be honest, I wish that they would show the exact player count. But there are those people who would compare it to other games and compare other statistics, which could make other competitors look good. Investors may back out with the other studios they're investing in. You know, there's a lot of other reasons why they, they have... Uh, the player count hidden um, so yeah I do see why they chose to hide it but just because they have made that decision does not mean COD is dead this series is actually doing very very good and I think this game is going to continue to see even more growth going into 2019 in fact I think Blackout is going to grow even bigger than multiplayer in the next few months here basically guys this graph here in my opinion is completely false and we should not use it to base how many players are active on Black Ops 4. I thought everybody would be able to see this graph and immediately a red light should go off in their heads. For me it did, for my friends it did, but for a lot of people in the COD scene, they did not see that, hey, there, there's something going on here. This information that's going public right now does not match up with the news reports that's been going on over the past couple of weeks here. Heck, we don't even know if this new PS4 My Life tracks the US players because like I said, it's only available in the UK as of now. But before we wrap things up, I did not make this video to defend or suck off Activision. I've been very critical of them and other COD devs in the past before. But to simply put it, a lot of people were making videos saying that these are the exact numbers, whatever, they're accurate, but they're not. It's completely false to the point where I feel it's just simply invalid. But tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. Again, there may be some truth behind it. Who knows? But just from me looking from the outside in and judging the reports that have been going on from Sony, not Activision and Treyarch, Everything just does not line up here. But again, please tell me your thoughts. Also, drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching. I love you guys so, so much. Hope you guys have a happy New Year's and a very, very Merry Christmas. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.